Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear you, but I cannot see you. You can't see me? Okay. Uh, there might be a problem with the connection. Sorry? There might be a problem with the connection then. I guess so. Okay, let's continue. Okay. What do you say? Uh, okay, so uh, my name is Crystal. Mm -hmm. And so my name is Ashish and I'm from India. Okay. How are you doing today? Mm, I'm okay. How are you? I'm really good. Uh, I'm so I'm from America, but I am in Turkey. You're in Turkey now. Mm-hmm. And what do you do? <clears throat> I teach English online. <laughs> oh, that's that's all your work. Yep, I've been doing that for about two years. Oh my gosh, that's really great. Yeah. So <clears throat> okay. I can... So, I can yeah. teach online mm -hmm. and travel to different countries. Except right now. I can't mm. I can't travel anywhere right now. Is, your, is that your hobby? What? Is that your hobby or to, to, <clears throat> to, to travel? Uh-huh. Kind of. I, I studied um I studied history in university. So I like to go mm -hmm. to places and see like historical things and stuff like that. Okay. So that is your interest, right? It's one of my interests, yes. <laughs> okay, what are your hobbies? Uh, I like to read and draw. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. That's about it. <laughs> kind of boring. Okay. <laughs> I like to cook. And now, uh -huh. how are you holding up now? I guess you must be on clock town, right? Yes. Um, in Turkey, in the large cities, mm -hmm. such as Istanbul, where I am, uh, this mm -hmm. weekend and last weekend, there was a total lockdown. So we couldn't go out at all other than to, other than to buy medicine or bread. That's it. Mm -hmm. So is it freaking out? It's not freaking me out, but it's annoying me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't ah, like me too. I don't like being told you have to stay somewhere. Um, exactly. Yeah. So and I keep I keep telling people I'm an American. They can't do this to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. So do you live with your family or no. alone? Uh, friends. With your friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, my family's okay. My family's back uh -huh. in the U.S. Ah, I, I'm sorry, I didn't ask you. What part of USA are you from? I'm from Wisconsin. Wisconsin? Mm -hmm. You've oh, never heard of it, have you? Great. Ah, I've heard. Really? Yeah, a lot. What have you heard about Wisconsin? I'm curious. Most people have not heard uh, of Wisconsin. I don't know much, but uh, you know what? I, have, uh, I know about the airport. About what? So about airport, which is in Wisconsin. Airport? Because, you know, the... Uh-huh. Like the place where planes fly from? Airport? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. There isn't really... That's correct. There isn't really a major airport in Wisconsin. Yeah, there is, I guess. Where? Actually, you know what? I, I'm going to tell you. I used to work for uh, Delta Airlines, so... Okay. I have heard about lots of cities and states as well, about the United States. So I do know about the codes, airport codes, Wisconsin, Massachusetts, Houston, lots of that type of code. So that's what I told you. Yeah, I have heard about it, actually. Okay. So when you say mm -hmm. the airport, are you sure you're not thinking of O'Hare Airport in Chicago? Oh, here, yeah. Yeah, so this is not in Wisconsin. That's actually in Illinois. Yeah. Yeah, that's in the state oh, below here. Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Wisconsin but, but doesn't have a Wisconsin. lot of airports. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
does it have any like uh one or two international airports international airports um i think i think the one in milwaukee is considered an international airport milwaukee but it's a, yeah yeah but it's a smaller right. it's a smaller international airport. people don't uh, usually yeah, use it's it domestic. I guess not international, but it's a domestic one. Is that right? I no, I think it is considered an international airport, but um, for mm -hmm. <laughs> for for some reason, if you fly from there, you still have to go from there to Chicago, and then from Chicago out of the country. Uh -huh. Oh, that's yeah. great! I mean, typically, I don't know. Maybe maybe there's some flights <laughs> from Milwaukee out of the country, but I've never seen any. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it's considered an international airport if you really you don't go internationally from <laughs> it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I have heard about uh, or here, mm -hmm. which is in Illinois, mm -hmm. uh, Chicago. Yep. Lots of airport that is in New York, California, mm -hmm. right? San Jose, San Ana. A lot of, I forgot a lot of things because I had left my job okay. uh, for a while ago. So now I'm in teaching sector. Okay. Oh, yeah, I, I'm forgetting, you know what? So what, what did you do so, when you worked for Delta? Uh, I was in call center. I was in sales. So okay. I used to book tickets or cancellation. Okay. That's I will, yeah. But now it's over. Okay. So why did you leave that? Yeah. Uh, it's very hard to answer. Okay. Actually, yeah. I left that. There was some issues with my, you know, with my family, so mm. I had to leave it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so you're you said you're teaching he, he now? Like, oh, yeah. Uh huh. What? That's correct. Yeah. Sorry, I missed I missed part of what you said there. Can you say that again? I said so. Yeah, I do teach English online. You teach online? Mm hmm Oh, okay. And what do you teach online? English. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Why yeah. are you using Cambly then? <laughs> Oh, well, yeah, it's actually, I mean, you know, I'm, I wanted to do some practice. I just want to, I uh, wanted to see myself, nothing, you know, nothing for personal. And if I get something, some knowledge, so that would be cool for me. Okay. That's why I'm on Cambly. And because I'm in, uh, now, you know, in the room, mm -hmm. I'm on lockdown. So I thought, okay, I should try something. That I can get some native speaker, I can speak with them. Okay. So it was a good idea. Yeah, I joined. But I haven't got anything helpful for me, to be honest with you. Okay. So, what types of things yeah. that would be helpful are you looking for? I wanted some classes, some courses over here, not like conversational okay. skills that I know I can speak and you know I've been speaking for a long time mm -hmm. so I wanted some different type of stuff like grammar okay preparation about something else capital but I couldn't get that okay so what what you need to do if you want like specific lessons like grammar or something like that mm -hmm. um, you need to somehow make some kind of contact with the tutor ahead of time so they can prepare some lesson materials. So we have lesson materials available on Cambly, but it's really difficult, like when you get a random call from someone, bam, have lesson materials mm -hmm. right then and there. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. No, I actually, and I, I haven't, I, I didn't get any teacher here who can like, you know, who can provide me the same stuff what I'm looking for now. Okay. So I asked lots of teachers, so could you provide me uh, some stuff from grammar in higher level? They said, no, you have to find out. You have to just see the profiles of teachers, then just figure out who is a really expert in that. Well, you don't have to be an I expert cannot. in grammar to be able to teach grammar with, you know, with some preparation and some materials. 
I'm not an mm -hmm. expert in grammar, but I can teach grammar if I have, you know, materials ready for it. Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. And do, do you people, have any book? Would you want to recommend me? A book? No, I don't have books that I recommend mm -hmm. because, you know, throughout the world, different books are available and it doesn't work to just say mm -hmm. this is yeah. the book that I recommend. Unless it's exactly. unless it's maybe an ebook, if you could find an ebook, then that would be different. But I don't have any ebooks. But there are some good materials mm -hmm. available on Cambly for focusing on grammar. You just need to give the tutor some mm -hmm. warning. There are some tutors mm -hmm. who, who are actually probably an English major or something like that in university, and they can really, really mm -hmm. focus on grammar specifically because you know that's that's what they do. <laughs> <laughs> so but how long have you been teaching you i've been teaching online about two years a little over two years okay so is that your work so are you passionate about teaching or yeah it's just part time i well i i don't know exactly how many hours a week. i do it a lot i don't know if it's part-time or full-time i'd have to look and see how many hours a week i spend doing it <laughs> but some days, some days, some days I work only four hours. So some days I only have four hours worth of like lessons or time spots. And some days I'm doing mm -hmm. like 10 or more hours. So, so I mean, did you go? Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I was going to say, so it's not like a regular set number. Okay. So it's kind of part time. Well, if you're working seven days a week and some days you're working 10 hours, that's not exactly part time. <laughs> yeah. 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 That, that is considered to be like full time. If you're working yeah, 10 hours. I think, yeah. yeah. I think I'm probably working more than 40 hours a week. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So what were you, and, what were you uh, saying? Yeah. For? I wanted. Ah, oh, when did you graduate? When did I graduate from university? Mm-hmm. Uh, 2015. 15, and since then you're teaching or you were in other sector or other industry? Um, I worked in publishing for a little while mm -hmm. uh, for a magazine, a historical magazine. And I uh -huh. worked in an animal wildlife sanctuary okay wildlife sanctuary wildlife sanctuary mm -hmm. yeah taking care of wild animals <laughs> <laughs> oh, well you know what uh, as you have uh, like interest in mm -hmm. history you should visit india india is a really historical place mm -hmm. well i live i You're live in turkey like, now yeah. turkey is pretty historical yeah. <laughs> turkey is mm -hmm. yeah but india is a uh, uh, as well you know what yeah you can get lots of things here you can get a lot of knowledge mm -hmm. here and experience yeah. yeah i'll probably visit someday <laughs> i'm not sure when i don't have any plans right now but there's a lot of places <laughs> i'd like to visit that i don't have plans for but someday i will oh uh, and do you want to live in turkey or do you want to move somewhere else mm, i'm not sure I've lived, I've lived in a sure. few different countries. I've lived in Romania and Italy and Scotland, too. Romania. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, so that's part of the reason why I oh, like working see. online. Uh, <laughs> I'm planning to, uh, um, I'm planning to go out. Maybe I would love to go to Vietnam. Okay. And what would you like to go to Vietnam because, for? Yeah. For just for teaching, teaching progress. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I've heard I've heard that because there's a lot of, of good opportunities to teach in Vietnam. Yes, in Vietnam, you're right. Uh, one of uh, my friends he recommended me, so you should come mm -hmm. here because he lives he he lives there and he teaches in the university, I guess. Mm -hmm. So he said, so you should come here, you're going to get it, and you have to just do that, that course, TEFL one, and then you're going to get a really good opportunity here. So he said you can take the course there? 
the TEFL course there? Mm -hmm. No, uh, I can do here as well in India. That's available online as well. It's up to me whether I'm going to be in a live class or online. Okay. Yeah, I suppose there's, there's I'm just waiting for uh, there's courses for that all mm -hmm. over the world. There's some courses that um, they take people who are from the yes, U.S. True, and they have true. them travel to like Spain or somewhere to take this course. It's kind of like a travel course, too. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's available. All exactly. you can get anywhere, mm -hmm. whether you're in USA or UK or anywhere, mm -hmm. you're going to get that's available. Okay. Yeah. Just, just you know, make, make sure yeah. you kind of do a little bit of research when you take the course because some there's a lot of yes. there's a lot of scams yeah. for that too. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, I have researched, but in India, yeah, uh, actually, I have found one center here nearby okay. me. So I'm gonna once it will go down, come over this thing, then I'll go. I'll definitely visit, and I'll definitely. Mm, analyze about that so is it good or is it right or not Hello? So then i'll definitely take a decision or i'll do maybe next year okay. and then yeah well i hope it's a i hope it's a good course and i hope it all works works well mm -hmm. yeah so what's your experience about teaching uh, well, I've been teaching online for two years, like I said, and before that, for four years while I was in university, I did a lot of tutoring and some teaching in classes. Mm -hmm.